I'm a visual artist based in Mexico City. My practice uh, develops in different media and is mostly interested in history, power and truth. My practice is uh, mostly research-based, so during my time in Omaha I focused on the findings I had been uh, accumulating for the past uh, three years, which mostly have to do with radical history, with propaganda materials. I have been also working with uh, communiques from uh, diverse guerrilla groups, uh, from uh, Latin America, uh, from a period maybe from the late 60s until the present. This time has been significant for me because it has uh, allowed me to close and hone in on some of the conclusions that I have, hadn't been able to put in perspective. This time really helped bring it all together. I also worked on a couple uh, murals. Uh, one of them is called uh, To Our Grandchildren and it is a uh, change of scale of uh, propaganda as well. So I'm interested in how these markings and this parallel life of printed materials reflect how uh, ideological superstructures, not only symbolic value, but also economic value. So I'm interested in how ideas may have an index that they can be measured in terms of, of economics. I also started to work here, which brings together my interest in the, in the projectiles and makeshift objects, that, which through people engage with uh, the police in these clashes. Uh, I made lumps of clay, which were basically the negative space of my fist. They were done in low fire ceramic clay, so they will interact with uh, interbid newspapers. I have been developing that idea, my relationship with print material, dates back from several years. I'm interested not only in these physical objects as a manifestation of an idea, but also as containers that reveal their own history. In the past I've worked with, I have collected marble from, from the mountains of Transylvania, from Nicolao Ceausescu, extracted marble for his presidential palace. I have also restored an old uh, monument in a shanty town in the outskirts of, of Granada in Nicaragua. It was supposed to mark the place where Jose Marti died, according to the people in everything the space in the Sandinista struggle. So I'm really interested in how history departs, and I'm interested in history as a gesture. I'm attracted to political history as a way of understanding my own context. So coming from Mexico, which is a post-revolutionary country with very complicated context, very layered. So I think that my engagement with political history and with radical history attempts to overcome this dissociation when we face context as complicated as the one in Latin America. This is not only pertaining to our specific context, so there's a larger narrative in which uh, geopolitical struggle and, and ideological superstructure also has shaped uh, the reality of each of us. So this is an attempt to understand where we come from and where we might be heading towards. I'm very interested in minimalism. I think this, this approach to the object and this approach to the material is it's very provocative and it's very confronting with the viewer. Placement of objects is key to the work I have been, I have been developing in the past several years. 2012, I started a project called Exercises on Selective Mutism, in which I would collect protest banners from, this, uh, from different sites, mostly in Mexico City, but also in a few other Mexican cities and in a couple other international places, where I would uh, recover the banners that are used to write slogans to display them at, at the rallies. And I would just whiten them out, completely canceling the meaning. And afterwards, I would develop world sculptures with these materials. So I think that work is key to the strategies that I have been developing in the years after that. I am very interested in an object or in an artwork that can, that can convey a message through the absence of content. For example, a text sign that we, just, that we saw at the fifth floor, El sonido de su mundo derrumbándose, which means the sound of their world coming apart. And that is an extract of, uh, of the communique that was uh, that the Ejército Zapatista, the Zapatista Army, put forward on December 22, 2012, after Enrique Peña Nieto took office, a couple weeks after president, that he represented the return to power of the corrupt political party that uh, ruled Mexico for almost 70 years nonstop, came to office again. 
So I'm interested in breaking points, I'm interested in features, I'm interested in points of departure, and I'm interested in how these articulations can suggest paths. I think that's uh, one of the main objectives of my artistic practice.